guys on Machugun and Arsenal have announced the signing of William Saliba. Now, this saga has been going on the whole summer. Tottenham were in for were in to hijack the deal, then they weren't, then they were. Looks like they were close. They matched us in negotiations. It was between us and Tottenham. Then it turned out that because we already agreed personal terms with Saliba, he already wanted to go to us instead of them. And he chose us instead. The only sticking point in this transfer, which we tried, I think, to push through, was that we wanted him this season. However, that is not going to happen. St. Etienne have stayed firm. They want to keep him. I think Saliba wants to actually stay another year with them for his development. Now, this guy, if you guys don't know, is in France. He is regarded as the defensive version of Kylian Mbappe, or at least the Kylian Mbappe we knew who was at Monaco. Of his, that's how highly, that's how highly thought of he thought of in France, and how much potential this guy has. It's very, very exciting. However, because he's being loaned out of, now, I'm not against this. Right, the guy's 18 years of age, he's younger than me. I do think this is a good thing because he can continue to go in France and hopefully be an even better player. Well, that's the whole point. He will be an even better player when he does come back to us next season um, but we do need defenders this season so hopefully we will sign a player for this window uh, you know this summer and because of the lack of reinforcements and the whole Kashani situation I kind of hope we could try and push it through the deal is worth apparently around 29 million pounds paid in installments of around 4 million a year I don't even think we'll be playing much of that this season because we're not getting him this season. But I'm very excited about this for the future. Now, because of how much money, I mean, 30 million is nothing really nowadays, especially even for def even for defenders. You're seeing Harry Maguire. Okay, he is a player who is, you know, he has fulfilled. He hasn't filled his whole potential, but he is known, you know, how great he was in the World Cup last summer for England. Um, but £80 million, pounds, I think, is, you know, when you're seeing prices like that being touted out, 45 to 50 for the um, dunk at Brighton. You know, for 29, 28 million for an 18-year-old, it might seem a lot, but I think Arsenal are looking at the potential sell-on value that he has because let's face it right we're not the team we used to be we're not winning the league titles we're not doing this we're not doing that hopefully maybe in the future but i can't see it happening in the next three to four years definitely not maybe not three to four years maybe that's me being pessimistic who knows what's going to happen william Sully, but i am excited slightly worried because i just hope we can get a defensive reinforcement in for this season at the moment it's not looking great a player who can potentially be you know, at the heart of our defence for the next 10 to 15 years if we develop that well as a club, if we go forward and, you know, can keep on progressing season after season after season, there's no reason why he can, you know, stay for that long period. And if he's that great and he does everything he needs to do with us, I'm sure the club will be more than happy with letting him go to the likes of a Barcelona Real Madrid. If he does, if... He does fulfil the potential that's being touted in France for him to have. But, of course, that is only potential. He needs to then go on and fulfil it. And hopefully he can do that for the Arsenal. But only time will serve. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is only a shorter video. So if you want to hear more about what I think about Arsenal's pre-season. And, um, yeah, our preparation and everything else. This video might even be out before the Stella Boss one. I'm not sure yet. Then I'll leave a link below in the description but for now like the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new i've been the true gunner thanks for watching and peace